A former Ankeny doctor learned his fate today. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of sexual abuse in the second degree. Mr. Foreperson is the A jury convicted jury. Lynn Lindemann this afternoon after two days of testimony. KCCI has been covering the Lindemann's trial since it started on Wednesday. KCCI's Bo Bowman is live from the Polk County Courthouse this evening. And Bo, the defense didn't call any witnesses. No, they didn't, Jody. This morning, prosecutors and the defense team moved in straight into their closing arguments. We do want to remind viewers at home that we're not going to reveal the identity of the victim or her family. Now, Dr. Lynn Lindemann was a pediatric orthopedic surgeon from Ankeny. He watched closing arguments from his attorney's table. Lindemann's defense team told jurors investigators didn't collect enough evidence and relied heavily on the accounts of children. They also argued the child victim that testified was coached on what to say, but prosecutors warned jurors not to let the defense team's conspiracy theories distract them from the evidence. So in this case, when you have prosecutors teaching her words, her father teaching her words in preparation for trial, when you have the Ankeny Police Department showing her video to ensure her consistent testimony in this case, that, folks, is a reasonable doubt. They're manufacturing a distraction because if you can't convince them, confuse them. That's what they're trying to do. Now, second degree sexual abuse carries 25 year sentence here in the state of Iowa, but Lindemann could face an enhanced penalty for a previous conviction from the 1970s in which he received a deferred judgment. He'll stand trial for those enhanced charges coming up here on April 1st. But for now, we're live in Des Moines, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And that prior conviction stems from allegations against Lindemann. KCCI investigates has been following up on for nearly two years. Sherry Moeller says in 1975 she was sexually abused by Lynn Lindemann, who at the time was an athletic trainer at the University of Iowa. She also sued Lindemann. You can hear from her and keep tabs on her case on KCCI.com by clicking on the Investigates tab.